in a quiet town in Pennsylvania. All is normal. Until one day. One man. Believe me, I know my stuff. Becomes. It's fantastic. President. Come and see the movie that critics are calling amazing, thrilling, an American classic, and five stars. Coming in winter of 2020 to a theater near you. The Gathering Store. PG-13. The Gathering Storm is the story of a family that lives in a small democratic town in Pennsylvania. The film follows them as Trump gets elected. Things unwind for them after that, and the world turns into an apocalyptic world. The inspiration for this came from Trump getting elected as president of the USA, and what we thought could potentially come from it. What was the hardest part of making this film? Well, one of the harder and more frustrating things is that Jamie tried to develop his Trump likeness a lot more than he needed to and sometimes went overboard with it. It felt like Trump was actually with us on set. The way that he treated people and how he talked to people. Alright, so I think that we should talk about the Great Wall of China. Scott, what do you think? Uh, what makes you think that the Great Wall of China is the greatest thing that happened? Well, since Donald Trump says that he wants to build a wall across the Mexican border to keep the immigrants out. Excuse me, excuse me. You're fired, you're fired, you're fired. You're all fired, because I'm the best. You guys, right? Nothing, it's just, I'm the best, because I'm Donald Trump. I'm the president of the United States, so I know, I know my stuff, okay? Whoa. It's really hard for me as an actor to portray the real Donald Trump. It wasn't his voice or mannerisms per se that was hard for me. Actually, that was pretty much the, the easiest part. But it was trying to talk and act like Donald Trump and sounding honest about it. Like when he said, if Ivanka, Ivanka were my daughter, daughter perhaps I'd, I'd be dating, dating her. her. It, was, it was just that type of thing that was really hard to me. For, to betray. I think that all women deserve the same rights as men in all areas, politically, in compensation, and in respect. Another thing that he said about Ivanka when, was when he was on the Howard Stern show in 2003. Howard Stern said that Ivanka was, quote, a piece of ass, and Donald Trump agreed with that statement. Normally, a parent would have gotten all up in arms, and have been very upset about someone saying that about their own child. But Donald Trump said, yeah, implying that he also thinks that she's a piece of ass. Lastly, I want to say one of the harder things to do while making this film, from an acting standpoint, was getting Trump's level of confidence, I guess. In an interview with Stephen Colbert, Stephen Colbert asked Trump if he has anyone that he wants to apologize to. And Trump said, uh, no, no apologies. It was, it was this arrogance and ignorance that was pretty hard to convey over the course of the filming. But why can Trump get away with acting like that? If it's so terrible, like you said, why did he still get elected president? The reason that Trump got elected was because there were lots of like-minded people in the world who agree with all or many of Trump's statements. He also got elected because initially he promised many things to America which appealed to a certain group of people and they wanted to see those things happen in their lifetime. For instance, like they wanted Obamacare to be repealed, they wanted him to build the wall, drain the swamp, and pay women less for doing the same work as men. Since Donald Trump has certainly seen himself as being top dog, he put himself above anyone else. Trump is making Mexico pay for the wall because Mexico apparently owes the U.S. for making the U.S. have a 45 billion dollar trade deflit. Within the past decade that was one of the lowest trade deflit. The highest was 79 billion dollars. This shows that Trump is probably money greedy but this is not a new occurrence. 
it's actually been going on for the past three decades with the president of the different parties. Trump is placing himself over Mexico by saying Mexico needs to pay for the wall because he knows that that will cause a huge money problem for Mexico. But he doesn't live in Mexico, so that's not a problem for him. In the Marcus lens, it talks about using the one below you to advance yourself. Trump using Mexico money to advance himself and get what he wants. Why do you think this film was so important? Now, the reason why this movie is important is it shows what could happen if we lose hope in ourselves and don't question power or authority. I think it's important for people to have confidence in themselves and each other and to not be afraid to let people know who they are. I think this movie is also trying to convey that it is possible to be angry but not violent. Violence is exactly what Trump wants us to be and we have to fight with our words and, not, and with our creativity. We have to be positive because it is easy to lose faith in the battle. But if we lose faith, Trump wins. This movie is important because people need to know the truth about our president, the whole truth, not just part of it, but the whole truth. I think it is also really important for people who might be on different political sides to talk to each other as Americans about their differences. We need to take a stand and stand up for what we think is right. The president is supposed to represent all Americans, not just rich white Americans. Understanding is something that America needs more of. We need to see how the other side thinks and understand why the, they think the way that they do. If we do that, then I think we might do all right.